The Texas Department of Public Safety ordered an internal investigation of DPS failures at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. 91 state troopers were among the 376 officers on the school shooting scene, according to a state house investigative report that described failures at all levels of law enforcement. The House committee released several hours of body camera and surveillance video yesterday, showing a general lack of urgency and confusion about who was in charge. The committee's written report also found warning signs about Salvador Ramos at least a year before the shooting happened that indicated what he was actually planning. Fox was Alex Boyer in downtown Dallas with more from this report. Alex. Yeah, and in a statement today, Governor Greg Abbott calls the findings by the uh, Texas House uh, Investigative Committee beyond disturbing and raises serious concerns about the response that day. He added that also uh, it is crucial that these critical changes be made as a result of those findings. You know, in one of the body camera videos that we saw today, we saw officers entering the gunman's home hours after the shooting. Police department. Shaky body camera video shows officers entering the Uvalde home where the 18-year-old gunman Salvador Ramos had been living with his grandparents the day of the school massacre on May 24th. Yes, cleared and tied. According to the timestamp on the video, officers cleared the home at 1.45 p.m., nearly two and a half hours after investigators say Ramos began his killing spree, first shooting his grandmother inside the home. She survived and was already rushed to the hospital when these officers arrived. One of them describes the scene to a detective. Big old pile of blood, there's a towel throw, there's some fragments along the door. It's about it. Everything looked like it happened right there in the hallway. Distraught relatives on scene could be heard talking to police. Let me take my grandma's picture. I don't know what's going on. Ramos then drove to Robb Elementary, where he killed 19 students and two teachers. Mr. Ramos, can you hear us, Mr. Ramos? Much of the Texas House Investigative Committee's report focuses on law enforcement failures at the school among 376 responding officers. You know, you had all those different agencies present and apparently no one uh, was in charge. Mike Lawler is an associate professor of criminology at the University of New Haven. The report was the first to criticize both state and federal enforcement and not just local police. There's very serious penalties for people who exhibit cowardice under fire. The report also reveals several missed warning signs about the shooter. One year before the massacre, he was nicknamed school shooter in online games he played. The report says it was a running joke among game players, but also showed an escalating pattern of violent tendencies by Ramos, including online threats against women. The FBI found he may have been sexually assaulted as a child by one of his mother's boyfriend, but that she did not believe him. He also struggled with a speech impediment and never got special education help in spite of being identified as at risk. Lawler calls the information about the gunman telling. It turns out that there were all kinds of red flags ahead of time. Investigators also interviewed the owner of the gun store where Ramos purchased two AR-style rifles with ammo in three visits days before the shooting. The owner described Ramos as an average customer who did not stand out, but customers gave a different account of the young man dressed in all black and behaving nervously, saying he looked like a school shooter. But just like his online behavior, none of this reached the attention of law enforcement until it was too late. Usually after the fact, Many people say, many people knew the shooters say, I'm not surprised. And Governor Abbott also added that with multiple investigations still ongoing, including those by the Texas Senate, FBI, and Texas Rangers, his office is going to uh, begin working with uh, the legislature to develop and implement the necessary changes to improve public safety at schools.